In our expedition through life, marked by its highs and lows, victories and struggles, we often grapple with a constant inner conflict between our strengths and weaknesses. Our collective aim is to lead a life characterized by purpose and resilience, yet certain habits can impede us from achieving our utmost potential. In this transformative journey, we will delve into eight habits that contribute to our weaknesses and learn to counteract them using Stoic principles. Stoicism, an age-old Greek philosophy established by Zeno of Sidium in the early 3rd century BC, endows us with enduring wisdom pertinent to the intricacies of contemporary life. This philosophy instructs us to direct our focus on aspects within our control, to develop virtues such as wisdom, courage, self-discipline, and to confront life's inevitable challenges with grace and resilience. As we examine these eight detrimental habits, it's crucial to remember that self-awareness is the first step toward change. By identifying and acknowledging these habits in ourselves, we initiate the journey of substituting them with stoic principles. These principles will equip us to lead a life rich in strength, purpose, and inner tranquility. Habit 1. Procrastination of Time Epictetus highlighted the significance of surrounding oneself with uplifting people. Procrastination, the tendency to delay tasks and responsibilities, undermines our resolve and progress, stealing precious time that could be dedicated to personal growth and significant pursuits. Stoicism, advocating carpe diem or seizing the day, emphasizes the value of the present moment and making the most of it. Procrastination, often stemming from anxiety about the future or discomfort with a task, can be combated with a stoic approach. This involves focusing on what is within our control and letting go of what isn't. To counter procrastination, we should concentrate on the process rather than the outcome, set small, achievable goals, and steadily work towards them. Embrace present discomfort as a growth opportunity, and remember that time, a finite resource, should not be squandered. Habit 2, Negative Self-Talk Marcus Aurelius believed that our life is shaped by our thoughts. Negative self-talk, damaging to our self-esteem and confidence, can be transformed by adopting Stoic principles. Stoicism advocates for controlling our thoughts, replacing negativity with rationality and self-compassion. Aurelius emphasized the importance of our inner dialogue and its influence on our perception of the world. To overcome negative self-talk, begin by observing your thoughts impartially. When self-criticism or doubt arises, confront these thoughts with reason. Question their evidence and challenge the fears or insecurities they may stem from. Stoicism encourages us to practice self-compassion, treating ourselves with kindness and understanding. Instead of focusing on faults or failures, concentrate on learning and improvement. By replacing negative self-talk with rationality and self-compassion, you cultivate inner strength and resilience, empowering you to confidently face life's challenges. Habit 3, Avoiding Challenges Stoicism teaches the importance of embracing challenges for self-improvement. Epictetus believed that personal growth often comes from facing difficulties and expanding our boundaries. Avoiding challenges keeps us within our comfort zones, hindering the development of virtues like patience, courage, and adaptability. In modern society, the preference for convenience and immediate gratification can be detrimental to long-term growth, limiting our potential. Stoic philosophy urges us to see the strength in confronting difficulties directly, recognizing that it's through these challenges we learn valuable lessons and develop virtues such as perseverance and resilience. Constantly seeking comfort and shying away from challenges stunts personal and intellectual growth. Stoicism encourages stepping out of our comfort zones and engaging in activities that push our limits, thereby expanding our capabilities, confidence, and personal satisfaction. Moreover, avoiding challenges can lead to a fear of failure. Stoicism teaches us to view failure as a natural part of life and a valuable learning experience. Facing failure with a stoic mindset allows us to draw wisdom from our setbacks, propelling us forward. It's important to understand that Stoicism doesn't advocate seeking unnecessary suffering. Instead, it encourages facing challenges with a calm and rational mind, understanding that discomfort is an essential part of life leading to growth and improvement. 
By actively seeking challenges, we develop personal control and learn to rely on our ethics and inner strength, becoming less dependent on external circumstances for happiness. Applying Stoic principles in life can profoundly impact how we approach life, equipping us to handle difficulties, failures, and unexpected events. Instead of being overwhelmed by challenges, we learn to see them as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. To maintain a stoic mindset, approach life with an open mind, ready to challenge current beliefs and habits. Recognizing the tendency to avoid discomfort and embracing stoic principles of facing challenges head-on can lead to a strong, flexible mindset focused on personal development. Embrace discomfort and challenges, and embark on a journey of self-discovery and improvement. Habit 4. Indulging in Excessive Materialism In Stoic philosophy, the focus is on valuing ethics and inner virtues over external possessions. Excessive materialism, or the intense preoccupation with acquiring material goods, risks overshadowing what truly matters and hinders finding lasting contentment. In a consumer-driven society, it's easy to equate material wealth with happiness and fulfillment. However, Stoicism teaches us that external possessions are transient and not within our control, thus making our happiness vulnerable to disappointment and dissatisfaction. When we tie our self-worth and happiness to material goods, we create endless desires, becoming obsessed with accumulating wealth and the latest possessions. This relentless pursuit often leads to perpetual dissatisfaction, as there will always be something new to desire. Seneca stressed the importance of differentiating between desires and needs, noting that excessive materialism arises from endless desires and the mistaken belief that ownership brings lasting happiness. To counteract excessive materialism, Stoicism encourages practicing contentment with what we have and shifting our focus to developing virtues like wisdom, courage, and compassion. These inner virtues are within our control and are the true sources of lasting satisfaction. Furthermore, excessive attachment to materialism can foster insecurity and anxiety, as we may worry about losing possessions or compare ourselves to others. This attachment creates a cycle of fear and envy, disrupting our peace and tranquility. Overcoming this habit involves practicing detachment, which doesn't mean abandoning material possessions but rather developing a healthy relationship with them. Recognizing that possessions are tools for improving our lives, not sources of validation or happiness, is crucial. Practicing gratitude helps cultivate satisfaction and lessen attachment to material goods. Additionally, embracing minimalism by simplifying our lives and removing distractions aligns our actions with stoic principles. Focusing on developing virtues, nurturing meaningful relationships, and contributing positively to society can shift our mindset towards genuine satisfaction, guided by stoic values. In summary, excessive focus on material possessions detracts from stoic practice, steering us away from inner virtues and lasting contentment. By acknowledging the fleeting nature of external items and practicing detachment, we can escape the cycle of desire and find fulfillment in virtues and living according to Stoic principles. Habit 5. Seeking External Validation In Stoic philosophy, the emphasis is on cultivating internal virtues rather than seeking external approval. Over-reliance on the opinions and acceptance of others can undermine self-reliance and create dependency. In a society increasingly influenced by social media, the quest for external validation, gauged through likes, comments, and followers, is commonplace. This can lead to a fragile sense of self-esteem, heavily reliant on the fluctuating opinions and approval of others. Stoic philosophers teach that true happiness and contentment come from within, advocating for the development of virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control. These qualities are independent of external opinions and can be nurtured irrespective of external circumstances. When we excessively seek approval from others, we surrender our power, becoming susceptible to changing opinions and basing our self-esteem on external validation. This pursuit can hinder finding true contentment and inner peace. For example, consider writing a blog post you're proud of, only to gauge its worth by the number of views or likes it receives. 
When feedback doesn't meet expectations, disappointment and self-doubt can overshadow the intrinsic value of your work. To overcome this habit and strengthen stoic practice, it's crucial to recognize that external approval is fleeting and often beyond our control. Instead, focus on nurturing internal virtues and align your actions with stoic principles. Practice self-awareness and self-acceptance, questioning the need for external approval and its alignment with your values. Understand that your worth is determined by your character and actions, not by others' opinions. Build confidence in your ability to evaluate and make decisions independently. Seek internal acceptance by judging your actions based on stoic virtues, focusing on personal development rather than external comparisons. Cultivate happiness and contentment from within and surround yourself with a supportive community that values and encourages growth. While feedback from trusted individuals is valuable, remember that it should not define your self-worth. Habit 6. Inability to cope with negative emotions. Stoic philosophy underscores the importance of reason and not allowing emotions to dictate our actions. Succumbing to negative emotions like anger, envy, or fear can disrupt our composure and virtuous conduct. These emotions can overpower reason, cloud judgment, and impede our progress in cultivating virtues such as patience, kindness, and self-control. In Stoicism, emotions are seen as impressions stemming from our interpretations of the world. Stoics maintain that we have control over these interpretations and, consequently, our emotions. By practicing mindfulness and self-awareness, we can examine and challenge the thoughts that lead to negative emotions, aligning them with reason and ethics. Stoicism's concept of apathia, often misunderstood as emotional detachment, is actually about developing emotional resilience and maintaining tranquility in difficult situations. While acknowledging that negative emotions are natural, Stoics advocate responding with reason, wisdom, and self-control. Here are strategies to overcome the habit of succumbing to negative emotions and strengthen Stoic practice. 1. Cultivate mindfulness asterisk mindfulness helps us become aware of our emotions as they arise, allowing us to observe our thoughts and emotions without being overwhelmed by them. This awareness creates space to choose a rational response rather than reacting impulsively. 2. Question your evaluations asterisk when negative emotions emerge, examine the underlying evaluations. Are they accurate, or are they distorted by biases or irrational beliefs? Restructuring these evaluations can change your perspective and lessen the intensity of negative emotions. 3. Practice self-reflection asterisk regular reflection on your thoughts, actions, and their consequences helps identify patterns triggering negative emotions. Exploring alternative reactions through self-reflection aids in developing effective emotional management strategies. 4. Seek virtue instead of revenge asterisk in moments of anger or resentment, focus on virtue rather than seeking revenge. Consider the long-term consequences of acting on negative emotions and strive for kindness, understanding, and forgiveness. 5. Embrace serenity asterisk accept what you cannot control and focus on what is within your control. Developing a tranquil mindset helps recognize that external events and others' actions are beyond your control, reducing the impact of negative emotions. By applying these strategies, we can diminish the habit of succumbing to negative emotions, aligning more closely with stoic ideals of rationality, resilience, and inner tranquility. Remember, this process requires time and consistent effort. Each challenge offers an opportunity for growth and learning, helping us progress towards a more virtuous and satisfying life. Allowing negative emotions to govern our actions undermines stoic practice. Cultivating mindfulness, questioning evaluations, practicing self-reflection, seeking virtue over revenge, and embracing serenity can gradually mitigate the influence of negative emotions. This alignment with Stoic principles leads to a life marked by rationality, resilience, and deep fulfillment. Habit 7. Dwelling on Past Mistakes Dwelling on past mistakes can be detrimental to practicing Stoic philosophy. Stoicism teaches us to focus on the present, accept what has happened, and learn from our mistakes rather than continuously ruminating over them. 
However, many people find themselves trapped in a cycle of regret, guilt, and self-blame, which hinders progress and personal development. When we obsess over past mistakes, we reinforce negative emotions and create a sense of stagnation. This habit undermines our ability to find peace and contentment and prevents us from enjoying the present and making positive changes. Stoicism, recognizing that the past cannot be changed, emphasizes the importance of our perceptions in shaping our experiences. As Epictetus said, it's not external events but our thoughts about them that affect us. To break this habit, practice compassion and forgiveness towards yourself. Understand that making mistakes is a natural part of growth. Instead of viewing mistakes as failures, see them as valuable lessons contributing to personal development. Each mistake is an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. Mindfulness is a powerful tool in combating this habit. It involves focusing on the present moment without judgment. By being mindful, we can escape the cycle of regret and fully engage with the current experience. Developing a habit of gratitude also helps shift focus from past errors. By appreciating the present and learning from past experiences, we highlight the positive aspects of life, fostering satisfaction. Overcoming the habit of dwelling on past mistakes requires a conscious effort to practice stoic principles. Remember, we have the power to choose our reactions to the past. Dwelling on mistakes only impedes living a fulfilling and virtuous life. By releasing the past, embracing self-compassion, practicing mindfulness, and cultivating gratitude, we can diminish this habit's hold and adopt a more stoic outlook. Liberate yourself from the chains of regret and adopt stoic teachings to live a more meaningful and virtuous life. Learn from your mistakes, mature as an individual, and focus your energy on what matters, the present and the pursuit of virtue. Habit 8, Ignoring the Well-Being of Others Stoicism, emphasizing the concept of cosmopolitanism, advocates the idea that we are all part of a broader human community, and thus, we should be concerned about the well-being of everyone. Ignoring the needs and sufferings of others can erode our empathy and moral virtue, obstructing the cultivation of ethical qualities. Stoic philosophy urges us to live in harmony with nature and develop virtues such as wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. A crucial virtue in Stoicism is benevolence or goodwill towards others. Neglecting the welfare of others not only contravenes this virtue but can also lead to a disconnection from our fellow human beings. When we become indifferent to others' struggles, needs, and suffering, it manifests an insensitivity to the pain of the less fortunate or a failure to provide support where needed. This indifference hampers our ability to practice empathy and compassion, which are essential for moral character development. Stoicism teaches that every individual deserves respect, consideration, and empathy. Recognizing our interconnectedness with others fosters empathy in actions that promote the well-being of all. Ignoring others' welfare also means missing out on the benefits that kindness and benevolence bring. Studies have demonstrated that acts of kindness benefit not only the recipient but also enhance the giver's well-being. Engaging in such actions brings satisfaction, purpose, and a sense of connection. Furthermore, overlooking the welfare of others cultivates a self-centered mindset, which is detrimental to personal development. Stoicism posits that true happiness and contentment arise from living virtuously and aligning actions with reason and ethics. By neglecting others' welfare, we stray from this fundamental truth, becoming ensnared in selfishness and self-interest. To counter this habit and reinforce Stoic practice, it's essential to 1. Cultivate empathy, actively work to understand and share the feelings of others. This can involve listening to their experiences, putting yourself in their shoes, and offering support. 2. Practice acts of kindness, engage in actions that contribute to the well-being of others, no matter how small. This could range from helping a neighbor to volunteering for a cause. 3. Reflect on interconnectedness. Regularly remind yourself of the interconnected nature of humanity and how your well-being is tied to the well-being of others. 4. Develop a habit of benevolence. Make it a daily practice to perform acts of goodwill, 
nurturing a mindset that prioritizes the welfare of others alongside your own. Overcoming the habit of ignoring others' welfare aligns us more closely with Stoic principles, leading to a more ethical, fulfilling life marked by a deep sense of connection and shared humanity. By embracing benevolence, empathy, and kindness, we not only enhance our moral character but also contribute positively to the wider community. It is essential to cultivate empathy and goodwill towards others. This nurturing can be achieved through learning about diverse perspectives and experiences and actively engaging in acts of kindness. Embracing the virtue of benevolence not only solidifies our adherence to Stoic philosophy but also contributes to creating a world abundant in compassion and harmony. By acting as agents of positive change and promoting the well-being of others, we foster a sense of community. In summary, neglecting the welfare of others diminishes our practice of Stoic philosophy. By acknowledging the significance of empathy and goodwill, we can work towards rectifying this habit, thereby cultivating a broader concern for humanity's welfare. In doing so, we enhance our character and contribute to building a more ethical and compassionate society. Through the exploration of eight habits that can weaken us, we have immersed ourselves in the wisdom of Stoic philosophy and its principles that enable us to transform these habits. Stoicism teaches us to focus on controllable aspects, cultivate virtues, and confront life's challenges with courage and patience. It guides us to seek happiness in the present, reduce dependence on external approval and material possessions, step out of our comfort zone, and learn from the past without being ensnared by regret. As you embark on transforming weaknesses into strengths, remember that change is a gradual process requiring time and effort. Be patient with yourself, consistently apply stoic principles in your daily life, and with dedication, you can break free from these habits, leading a life marked by purpose, resilience, and tranquility. Embrace stoic teachings, seek inner acceptance, replace complaints with gratitude, prioritize virtue over material wealth, face challenges courageously, and release the past. This transformative journey will guide you towards a life of strength, wisdom, and enduring happiness. Thank you for watching this video. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, like and share it with others who might benefit. Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. We look forward to continuing this journey of learning and growth together.